Um, it's just a, it's a weird time right now. Now we've got Jake Paul versus Ty, uh, uh, against um, Tyron Woodley, and there is rumors that apparently, apparently Jake has got a second fight lined up already, really? and it's going to be against um, who? What's that kid? Hasbullah, but like the guy that promotes Hasbullah on on social media and that. Some Russian guy. I can't remember. Uh, anyway, it's all very. Wi- oh, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. I, it, I, bl- there's rumors, but I don't know. That's not really set in stone. That might be before the Tyron Woodley fight. That's what I actually got to ask you about. You've yeah. seen those videos of like Hasbollah, how he's like gaining so much attraction. It's weird. Over, it's just weird. It's like, weird. Apparently, he was like supposed to fight some kid, and then uh, did you actually? They're did not. You, they're not kids. They're not kids. That's the other thing. He's actually 19 years old. They're both. They're both like uh, in the. 18, 19. 18, 19, yeah. That's yeah. weird, though, because when I saw him, I'm like, why does he look like a child? But his face looks like it's slightly more matured, you know what I mean? Yeah, just, so yeah. So I thought it was some weird Russian gene or something like that. Russian? Gone. I don't know. They're, they're, they're Dagestanian, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, so I some weird Dagestanian genes going on there. But then I actually did some digging. I actually found out that he's 18 years old yeah, and all yeah. that. He's got some sort of genetic disorder or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It'll be, it'll be something similar to like dwarfism or something like yeah. that. Um, yeah, well, let, let's talk about Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley. Okay. That came out. So basically, the Paul brothers are very good at marketing-wise. And because they've got their fights in a similar industry, which would be boxing, um... However, they've you know gone off in different directions and who opponents they're picking, um, and who they're signing with and things like that. Jake signed with Showtime, I believe it's just a one-off. Some people have said it's a multi-fight contract, but Jake has also said I don't do multi-fight contracts. Mm-hmm. I do one and done, and then I can renegotiate, um, which which is actually a good point. Yeah. Um, and then Jake Paul is set to fight Tyron Woodley. We don't have a date. Um, well, is, no, it's do. Mu- we do is we do. Why around August or something like Roughly that. Roughly August. Let me okay. get a quick confirmation for you. Man. Yeah, if it's been sorted in early June, then most likely July is a bit too early because then you have a decent fight camp at least eight to twelve weeks. Um, it's most likely maybe August that we'll see it. It's super weird to see uh, see August, this come about. Sorry, the August twenty eighth. August twenty eighth. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So that gives them probably uh, over twelve weeks to actually. I mean, give me an honest assessment. close to 12 weeks. Honest assessment about Um, this. Because one thing I thought that was really important to highlight was the fact that uh, I believe uh, Tyron Woodley's manager did an interview and he said that that it's a two-fight. I think it's it's a rematch. Uh, There there is a rematch clause in Jake Paul's contract, not in Tyron's, in Jake Paul's contract. Mm. Um, I know people. some people have said, oh, is Jake scared or anything like that? It's a little bit weird that there's a clause in there. Basically, Jake can choose, just like with uh, recently with Wilder vs. Fury with having a rematch clause, which is a strange thing because MMA, that doesn't happen. No, no. um, But in boxing, it's weird that win, lose, or draw, Mm -hmm. if you choose to do so, we can have a rematch, which is a bit weird. But perhaps that was something that Showtime wanted to put forwards. A little bit weird. So basically, if Jake wins... He can choose to have a rematch. Mm-hmm. If Jake loses, he can choose to have a rematch. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. He could lose and just say, no, nah, I don't want to. And he can just not use the rematch clause. And it could just expire. But um, I think they get about a year or something usually. They're, every contract can change. But usually it's about a year, which is why Wilder had to go through an arbitration process with a judge in order to get that sorted. Um, it's, very, it's, it's a bit strange. Now, it's a good... With Logan Paul versus Mayweather... Um, there was no story, no. right? There was no story. Jake actually helped promote that. And they that way more marketable. Otherwise, probably way less people would have watched that, right? Jake, although we don't like him, he understands the marketing, which is, you know, the who, the what, the where, the why, and the how. And the, the really one of them that's really important is the why. Like, why should we watch this? Why is this important? What's the story? Yeah. And Tyron Woodman... Well, Woodley coming over from MMA, recently retired. Mm-hmm. Well, well, not recently retired. Cut, out. cut from the UFC yeah. after four, um, four pretty significant losses. Mm-hmm. Um, he's friends with Jake Paul. Had that little bit of the, you know, behind the scenes when he was watching Jake getting his hands wrapped. Had that a little bit of a, scuffle. not not scuffle, but like a heated argument with uh, Jay Leon Love and uh, Jake Jake Paul and that. And now, after KOing Ben, now that they can... Look, 
you got to give a little bit of credit to Jake is that he's actually gone against a more formidable opponent. Yeah. Yes, he's picking someone who is about 40 years old yeah. and on a four fight uh, losing streak. So he's he's uh but he's got he's someone who can crack. Yeah, yeah. really can crack. And yeah, don't forget that, pa- that power's not really going anywhere. Some absolute phenomenal strikers. Like I will never forget my favorite fight from Tyler Woodley was when he fought Stephen Wonderboy Thompson for the first time. Mm. That you go back and watch that that was like that's vintage a, a vintage striking match. Or against Lawler. Yeah, against Lawler, that was another killer match as well, but Tyler Woodley is a little bit older, but he's been fighting train killers his whole life and I hope he takes this a little bit more seriously. I hope he's still been training out because this is where the situation is a little bit different because Ben Askren wasn't training as much. Striking really wasn't his style. Mm. Tyron Woodley, even though he's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, tri- a phenomenal wrestler, he still can't. He's got tremendous amounts of power he, and he's still got yeah. phenomenal hands as well. He, so. He's also, during his fight camps for uh, you know a lot of his UFC bouts, he's been boxing pro boxers for, yeah. uh, for a while. Um, I don't believe he's been at wildcard boxing. However, he's been doing boxing bout like you know, actual boxing bouts with pro professional fighters, right? It's just it doesn't really get talked about because it's just in fight camp and it's not really relevant because it's a different space, right? Obviously. But it's not talked enough uh, talked about enough that Tyron Woodley, look, he actually does have hands and right, and if Jake can pull it off, then you have to give. You give Jake a little bit of respect because he's he's picked Tyron, right? Yeah. Again, 40 years old, well out of his prime. Um, if he was maybe not on a losing streak, maybe Jake wouldn't have touched him. No. Um, or whoever's advising Jake wouldn't have touched him. But still a formidable opponent. If he was to beat Tyron, and I think that is a long shot. I know we said that against uh, Ben, but that was also because we were just hoping Ben made it into a scrappy fight, which he... He really didn't, and he kind of got fooled quite quickly, because mm-hmm. um, Ben kind of got fooled by quite a basic one: hit low, hit low, yeah, fake going low, go high. <laughs> like it's the most basic trick in the world. Uh, look at look at kick them in the leg, kick them in the leg. Look at the leg, hit them in the head. It's the most it's the basic trick in the book, and he he got he got whooped. But with Tyron, yeah, that but guy's he's, he's that guy's though. heavier. You know, he's a good. He actually does have good boxing ability. Here's one thing I gotta ask: uh, What if? Tyron, we got Tyron Woodley. Where's Dylan Dennis sitting this whole thing? Do you ever think he will fight him? Um, I honestly don't. Well, I saw that Dylan Dennis, um, prior to the fight on his Instagram story, he'd actually said, I I bet that Logan gets knocked out in the first one to two rounds by Mayweather, and I think after this he comes fights me in Bellator. Okay. Uh, if you ever want to lose money in a fight, do exactly what Dylan picks yeah. for the winner. Yeah. Dylan never. If you ever see who Dylan picks for winners in the UFC, any boxing match, he he he's, he misses the the mark every time. Yeah, he's he's definitely got a curse on him. It's yeah, also like the Chao Sanan curse and the Oral Hawani curse. Yeah, and then there's the Versace rope curse. Yeah. So. <laughs> um. Yeah. So the second part of that is a bit weird to decipher that. I don't, th- I don't see Bellator being like, okay, yeah, we'll take Logan yeah. who just lost on Showtime against Floyd Mayweather. Let's bring him to Bellator, because that's that's something that we really. Because Bellator wants to establish themselves, they don't want to pick up. Yeah, I think uh, Dylan needs to fight someone because he hasn't fought in a long time. I think yeah. 2019 or something he hasn't fought. Yeah, and the guy who fought in Bellator wasn't even that well established. I think he was 0 and 2 or something like yeah. that. So and now Dylan is 2 and 2 and 0. Um, I've seen Dylan fighting, like doing. He's been doing a little bit of boxing training. It looks okay, not really that good either. Um, it doesn't look natural for him, to be honest. He's really, really good. But he said, um, he he said that if Logan comes to Bellator, I'll snap his leg in ten seconds. Um, I wouldn't doubt it, to wouldn't be honest. Doubt, no. I wouldn't doubt it. I I think there's a massive difference in in weight. I don't see that happening because Dylan's not. He's not a champion. He hasn't mm-hmm. fought any significant opponents in Bellator. He's only fought twice in twice in Bellator, I believe. Um, be, a, being being two and zero. Oh. He's also had like a knee surgery and all yeah, that. Yeah, so it's it's not going to happen. He Logan's not going to be going to Bellator um, to do any MMA bouts, even though he has the wrestling wrestling pedigree. 
Yeah. It's not. It's not going to happen. He, Although Dylan Dylan would snap his leg. Here's another reason why it's going to not really going to happen is because now stock has gone up in the pool family and stock's gone down in Dennis family basically. Or Dylan. Well, Dylan nothing's Dennis. really happened with Dylan because to be honest. He's not done anything really. He's, he, he's more of a talker. Yeah, he's well. He's been doing podcasts lately, but he's not actually done any fighting. He hasn't been. Competing. He, he basically just speaks. Yeah, just, fair, but he just speaks. I mean. I mean, I'll I'll watch him in a rest, uh, grappling match any day. Any oh, day, it, any day of the week. But that's what's strange for me. Like, if he's if he's been, you know, because he lives in a, in America, he, de- he hasn't been in Ireland for a while, obviously because of COVID. I just thought, well, why don't you just stay busy? If you can't get an MMA fight in Bellator or something, because I understand he would be a formidable opponent mm-hmm. to get on Bellator. I don't I don't see you, if anyone's been turning him down, right? But. Dylan could make a decent amount of money just doing flow grappling. Correct. And I don't see why he hasn't done that because he's also called out Gordon Ryan. Yeah. Well, who's now retired. Well, se- semi-retired. As soon as he gets his stomach back in gear, I know we're all over the spot. The it's just it's all it's all very weird right now. There's the the only clear thing we've got right now is Tyron Woodley versus Jake Paul. Yeah. And um, to be honest, an early prediction. I think Tyron Woodley wrecks Jake. Yeah, I, I think Tyron Woodley wrecks Jake, but I don't think it's going to be in the first few rounds. I feel like he might fill him out. I reckon Jake's going to try and put him away in those first few rounds like he did with, you know, of course, Nay, and he did, of course, with um, Ben. Tyron Woodley, he's not really a first-round finisher. He's not really got many first-round finishes on his streak. Submissions, he he's does. He's got a lot but, of quite a few submissions. He has submissions, yeah. but not, not, not in knockouts. terms of strikes, no. Exactly. So that's why I believe it's going to go down to later rounds. I reckon he's going to be very durable. I think you've got to understand that fucking Tyron Willie's got a massive overhand right that you shouldn't underestimate, mm. uh, which you can put anyone away. I just want to see what the uh, what, what it's going to be like leading up to the camp because the thing is, my money is on Tyron as of now. But one thing I've learned that I learned about the Jake Paul versus Ben Askren was as I got closer and closer to the fight, I steered towards Jake because the things that were coming out of Ben's camp, coming out of Ben, and the words that were coming out of Ben's mouth, it just, uh, you know what I mean? So I just want to see what's going to happen now leading up to it. I think a lot of people overestimate a little bit too much about what a fighter says. Yeah. And, and I think it's more the physical aspects for Ben. I think Ben... Hadn't had any experience. Wasn't going to learn anything new at 36. Yeah. Tyron doesn't really need to learn anything new because he's been doing it consistently. Ben never developed his hands, whereas Tyron, he said, before I was, you know, fighting, I was knocking out people in the streets, you know? I think uh, I think Tyron takes Jake's head off. And yeah. um, I don't think it will be early on. Just, yeah. I don't, I don't think so. I think Jake will try and take him out in the first two rounds and... Yeah, but a little bit of credit on Jake that he's actually gone forward and he's actually picked a, a much harder opponent than Ben. I think it was a good move to pick Ben, even though it was a quite a shitty opponent. Um, he's now grabbed all the MMA fans that hate him. And then love, them or, love, love or hate Jake, those people are still going to buy the pay-per-view and watch, or at least talk about it, which yeah. is going to make other people watch. So... Yeah, I think um, I think that's one to look out for. I think that's a much more competitive fight than Ben Askren versus Jake Paul or Dylan Dennis versus Jake Paul. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I think that's a, that's a good match. And uh, I think everyone in the MMA community is going to rally behind Tyron just like they did Ben. Yeah. Um, I think Tyron can, Tyron can get it done. Yeah, I think he can get it done. Yeah. He's also a believe as well. If Jake Paul beats Tyron Woodley... I reckon he's finally going to get that respect or at least some respect in which he's trying to been, you know, searching for, has mm. been fighting for really because, mm. you know, people would, were quick, are quick to discredit him. You know, he fought, uh, give him, no, he fought Deji. Okay. That kid barely even trained um, and he got rid of his trainer. Okay. Fought Gibbon. Uh, that dude barely started boxing. Okay. Fought Nate Robinson, 40-year-old basketball player. Okay. Fought uh, Ben Askren, 40-year-old, retired uh, MMA fighter. Okay, discredit that. All right, what more have I got to do now? Okay, that's give me a, give me a killer. So I respect him more now. Forty year old killer. <laughs> Forty year old killer. killer. I respect him now from former champion as well. Uh, 
you know, I respect him more because he's going up in levels. What mm. Jake's doing is he's taking steps, very carefully planned steps towards becoming legitimate. Which is what any boxer does, to be honest. Which, a lot yeah. of those boxers, I mean, I spoke about Tommy Fury. He beat that, uh, I can't remember his name actually, I'll bring it up. But he was on 0 and 14. Yeah. Mm. But a lot of these fighters do that. If you look on, if you actually go back to a lot of these fighters, a lot of these boxers, um, rather, and and you have a look through their you know first few fights, they do have padded records. They are fighting someone who is five and six, three and seven, two two and nine. You know that like that, that's who they they are fighting. Mm-hmm. They're not scrubs, but they do they are doing you know what they can to bump up because around boxing being undefeated mm-hmm. is your is your ticket you know and they try and then once they build it up to like 30 and 0 the same thing that got them a lot of money is the same thing that kind of gets them out of really big bouts because they get really scared to lose that th- that o mm-hmm. so look hats off to Jake making little moves and things like that in order to you make a lot of money in that space um, I'm excited. Tyron Woodley vs. Jake Paul. I'm actually... The Ben Askren vs. Jake Paul I wasn't really interested in. The Tyron Woodley vs. Jake Paul I'm actually interested in because I think I think Tyron Woodley during his career wasn't given enough due no. on how good a champion he was and yeah. the caliber of fighters and the way in which he did it. The, like, he's very good. Very well-rounded. Yeah. Um, really, really good wrestler. Black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Got power in those hands. Yeah. I think... Uh, You'll get a nice paycheck to finish yeah, it all off. Yeah. Here's the other thing I just got to bring out real quick, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, but no, you're right. Francis Nagani, you put this out. Did you see it? He said, Logan Paul got $10 million. $20, $20 million for an exhibition bout. And then he goes, what are we doing wrong? You can understand why a lot of the UFC fighters are getting a bit more upset now. Yeah. And, go, and uh, spe- specifically John saying, you know, why can't I get... Why can't I get my 10, 15 mil? Mm. 